Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Mike Miller with your Daily Dose of Motivation. And today I'm going to talk about uh, what I think is a pretty important topic, and I, I hope you'll agree with me. And it might go a little bit longer than a uh, minute that, that you're used to, um, but it's about legacy. And, um, you know, it's just about um, probably all the topics that I talk about in these motivation uh, speeches you know, actually come from my book called Strong Finish, and if you want to get a copy of it, you can um, actually reach out to me and I can share with you how to do that. Um, but this this particular one, um, uh, the Legacy and Strong Finish, was a conversation that um, I recently had with my little buddy Jake Julian, who proudly wears his uh, Strong Finish bracelet and wears it every day. And um, so I had the opportunity to actually explain to, to Jake what what strong finish really meant, why I wrote the book, and, and why he should really proudly explain his bracelet. Um, so yeah, you know, here's what strong finish really is. Uh, if you're gymnastics, you understand this. For those who aren't familiar with the gymnastics, gymnastics world, uh, there's two of, the, the two of the most important parts of the routine is when you stick the landing, right? That's after the whole routine is all over, you stick your landing, you're standing up, and the second is the strong finish is when you arch your back real high, and they, they throw their arms up in the air, and they smile. That's their strong finish, is when they arch their back and they throw their arms up in the air. And really, no matter how well the routine went, you've seen it on TV, they could have just blown the routine, they could have blown the stick landing, um, they may have fallen, but they still get back up, they stand up straight, they arch their back, throw their arms up in the strong finish. The reason why, because that's a gymnastics signature in their routine. What that is saying is that that may not have been the best that they could have ever done, and it may not have been the worst that they've ever done, but it's the best that they could have done that day. That was their strong finish. And I equate the strong finish to our legacy. I believe that we should be living our legacy every day. We shouldn't wait until you know, we retire or until you know, we're, we're nearing our older ages to, to think about our legacy and what we want to leave behind. My hope is that each day I can put a stamp on the calendar, a stamp of strong finish. And it's acknowledgement really to myself um, that I gave my very best that day. I'm not saying it's the best day I've ever had or it's maybe not the worst day and maybe I could have done things a whole lot different um, to make a difference in somebody's life. Um, but when I put the stamp on the calendar that day, it's me telling myself, you know what, Mike, you did the very best you could that day. So I'm going to ask you this. What is your legacy? What do you want to be remembered for? What do you want people to say about you? when you're gone. You know, for me, it's kind of simple. Uh, you know, I want, I want to inspire people. I want someone to look at me or to say about me when I'm gone and say, because of you, I didn't give up. Because of you, I was able to turn my life around. Because of you, I'm a different person. Legacy can kind of probably be summed up in these words here. It's not our footprints on, on the sands of time that we'll be remembered, but our imprints on the hearts of those that we love. Today and every day, I hope that you can wake up and the first thing in your mind is, what am I going to do today to make a difference in somebody's life? At the end of the day, will I be able to put a stamp on the calendar to say, I truly live my strong finish? It's tough. It's challenging. It takes a conscious effort. It takes a commitment. It takes discipline. But more importantly, it takes desire just to make a difference in somebody's life. I hope that I'm able to leave my imprint on the hearts of many, many people. Thanks, you guys. Have a great day. We'll talk to you later.